If you've got a Ford truck with this style door handle, you may experience a problem where the door will not stay closed like this one. See how it just bounces back open and won't stay closed. Or in some cases, you may have a situation where the door will not open from the inside or the outside, even if the lock is unlocked. In some cases, you might not be able to pull the lock into the unlocked position to open the door and the door will be stuck closed. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix this. It's a pretty simple fix. Uh, I didn't even need any parts. The front door here on the passenger side was doing the same thing. As you can see, it's a little oily. I'm gonna have to clean that up for the customer. But I've got this one fixed and working smooth as glass. And I didn't even have to buy any parts. So if you're having this problem on your Ford truck with these door handles, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So again, this applies to a Ford truck if the door will not stay closed or if it will not open from either handle even if the lock is in the unlocked position. Now the first thing that we're gonna have to do is take a little pick tool or a screwdriver like you see here. In this case, I was able to use a little screwdriver. What you're gonna look for is a little metal latch that you're gonna push towards the back of the truck. As you can see on the door handle, there's a little plastic mechanism here. I'm trying to do this with one hand on the camera and my flashlight. This little piece of the door handle here moves whenever you pull the handle back. And what that does is that pushes a spring-loaded metal release lever back to open the door. The problem is this little lever is seized. Rust builds up on the hinge and then it gets stuck. So what we're going to look for here, we're going to look for the little metal lever that this door handle moves. Now you see how I've got my flat blade screwdriver behind that little metal bracket? What we're going to do is use the screwdriver to push that metal bracket or that metal lever as far back to the truck as possible. Now the way you'll know you're on the right part is the door handle here. The door handle is going to want to push back into the closed position. So you kind of have to be a little strategic with it and work with it, but you want to push that metal lever back as far as possible. So I've got the lever moved back as far as I can, and as you can see, now the handle is snapped back in the closed position like a normal functioning handle would. Now that we've got the handle back in the release position, we can go inside the truck, and if your door lock was previously seized or stuck in the lock position, you should be able to unlock it now, like you see right there. Now we can actually open the door and get in the truck. We didn't have to damage the door panel or take any seats out. We were able to get this open without disassembling anything on the inside. However, we still have the problem where the door handle now is stuck in the open position. In other words, this handle is in the release position. So if we try to close the door, it's just gonna bounce back open like that. Remove the lamp lens or reflector, depending on what your truck has. And then we are going to remove the seven millimeter screw. Next, remove the window switch. Simply done by using a flat blade screwdriver. Pry up on the switch. It comes out. Once we have the window switch out, there's another seven millimeter screw right here. The door panel should now be loose. Before we take it off, we're gonna push the lock back down into the lock position. We're going to lift up, unplug the window switch connector, and off comes the door panel, just like so. Pull back the weather stripping. Going to remove this little insert here, the flathead screwdriver, to expose the 11 millimeter nut behind it. On the door handle, the exterior door handle, you will see a rod running down to the door latch mechanism, and there will be a little green retainer down here, and we need to 
open the little green retainer there to separate the rod from the door latch. So I'm gonna try to position my flashlight in such a way that you can easily see it. There we go, got it open. See how that's pulled back now? And with that released, now we can pull the little rod that goes to the door handle back. And now it is separated from the door lock mechanism and the door lock actuator if you have power door locks. Now on the front doors, there will be another little latch right in this area here for the manual lock on the key. You'll have to do the same thing with that little rod. It's the same principle, just spread the little plastic retainers out and then pull the rod out. It's pretty simple, nothing too much to it. Next, we'll take an 11 millimeter socket here. And then there's another one through the top here. Now, your door handle on the outside should be loose and it comes right out. So here's the door handle and the problem why the doors are sticking or not opening or not closing is because this little spring-loaded mechanism here gets rusty. You see all the rust built up on there? And that causes this, what should be spring-loaded, mechanism to stick. See how it's just sticking in place and it's difficult to move? Now, if you want to, you can replace this whole handle assembly. They're not that expensive, but because I'm trying to get this truck on the road as quickly as possible without replacing any parts. I'm going to show you how you can fix it without having to replace the handle. You'll need a can of WD-40 or PB Blaster or whatever your favorite penetrating oil is. And what we're going to do is we're going to soak this with our penetrating oil. I don't know, is WD-40 a penetrating oil? I'm not sure but I've used it to clean up rusty parts like this and it works just fine. After you've applied a generous amount of oil to it, we're gonna move the mechanism back and forth like so. And what you'll notice is it'll start to free up. It'll get easier and easier to move. Keep applying the penetrating oil or WD-40 to it Keep it soaking in that. You'll see a lot of rusty looking oil running out of it. That's a good sign. That means it's cleaning the rust out. And then before long, you'll notice that this little mechanism will go back to being spring loaded and your door handle begins to work properly again. So now that this is freed up, the door handle will work correctly and the door will open and close properly. Okay, reassembly is pretty much the reverse procedure. Put the door handle back in on the outside of the truck here. Now start these two 11 millimeter nuts by hand. There's the bottom one. And the top one. Put this little insert back in. We'll reconnect the door handle rod here. Might take some physical effort, but eventually you'll get this piece here snapped into the closed position. Test the handle, make sure it's working properly and moving smoothly. While you're at it, just spray a little oil into the latch here. It's common for these latches to stick a little bit and they can cause a false door jar message to show up on your dash. We'll just lubricate that. And we'll open and close the door a few times and work that in there. Put the weather stripping back into place. And we're going to put the door panel back on. Push the door lock into the locked position here, which it is. Pull the wiring for the window switch through. Line up the door panel with the door lock and the little retainers here. You'll feel it slide into place and push it down. Just like so. 
Make sure the door lock works properly, which it does. Reinstall the window switch. Just like so, looks good. Put the reflector back in. And let's see if the door works. Stays closed and opens normally. Make sure it opens from the inside. And it does. If it doesn't open from the inside, double check your child's safety lock and make sure the switch is in the down position. And that's pretty much it. Clean up the grease and oil from around the handle because there will be some on there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Most importantly, I hope you found it helpful. Maybe it helps you fix this problem on your truck and save some money. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.